What is happening guys? My name is Jamie. Today we are doing CD collection update. The CD collection update, I've collected a few CDs over the past week. And you know what? I'm excited to share with you what I collected, what I got. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you. Uh, this is the first week of the new Jamie Horsley channel. And honestly, I can't believe the reception I'm getting. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying this content. If you are enjoying this content, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe and hit that notification bell while you're at it. And let's grow this channel. So first of all, so first of all, um, there's a lot of CDs that I got. Um, but this is from the Metalhead box that I get every month. It's spiritual, yeah, well, it is a, it is Survival Instinct and the album I Am The Night. Haven't heard this album, haven't heard it, but I think the album cover's fucking fantastic, it really is. Um, it kind of looks thrash metal to me, and I said I cannot wait to check it out. Well, we go to the big, big boys now, it's Megadeth, Killing Is My Business, and Business Is Good. Just a very good album. One of my favorite Megadeth albums, Last Rites, Love to Death, Rattlehead, Chosen Ones, Mechanics. Such an intense album this is. Absolutely adore it. Dave Mustaine's vocals are absolutely fantastic. We'll definitely have to do a review for it. Megadeth, so far, so good, so what. Another fantastic fucking album by Megadeth. Absolutely adore it. Under the Lungs of Hell, Set the World of Fire, In My Darkest Hour. In My Darkest Hour will be one of my favourite Megadeth songs. Love how proggy it is. Just a great album overall. Well, surprise, surprise, this is a little bit of a surprise. And this is all thanks to Quest for Metal getting me into this band. And this is a band that I didn't really enjoy, but I do enjoy it now. It's it's a Nile, Vile Nilotic Rites. What an incredible album this is. Absolutely adore it. Yes, this is my first Nile album, and I love the artwork. The artwork is so damn good. Some incredible songs on it as well, like um, uh, Thus Saith the Parasites of the Mind. What an incredible song. Where is the Wrathful Sky? Just, yeah, I think this, this is their latest album as well. This was released in 2019, actually. So I, so I stagged it. Imperium Decadence, When We Are Forgotten. Just an absolutely incredible album by Imperium Decadence. This was also released in 2019. I love the artwork. Artwork is so damn good. Such incredible songs on this album as well. But what can I say? If you haven't checked out Imperium Decadence, I question, what are you doing? Check them out. Next up is Dream Theater, Black Clouds and Silver Linings. This was my last Dream Theater album to collect. And finally, I got them all now. I got them all. And God damn it, I'm going to show you my Dream Theater collection. You know what? I'm thinking I'm doing a Dream Theater discography uh, review. Reviewing all the albums. Similar to what the Metal Meltdown does. Similar to what he does with uh, albums. But yeah. Dream Theater, Black Cloud and Silver Lining. Such an incredible album. Got songs like The Shattered Fortress, which is the end of the 12 Step Suite. What an incredible song that is. You got The Best of Times, The Count of Tuscany. Then you got Nightmare to Remember. Wow, so many good songs. 2021 album now, it's Midnight Spell, Sky Destroyer. Love the artwork on this. Artwork is so damn good. It really is just incredible songs like Blood for Blood. Then you got Between the Eyes, Lady of the Moonlight. Got some Doomy songs as well, like Cemetery Queen and like a six minute song. But yeah, Midnight Spell, such an incredible album. More Imperium Decades, Meadows of Nostalgia. What can I say? Another fantastic album by Imperium Decadence. One of my favorite albums as well. Absolutely adore it. Just so many good songs on it. Love the artwork as well. Check out the artwork. Just so many fantastic. Fan the artwork's so damn good. I'm sorry if my fingernail's a little bit dirty. That's because I've been driving taxis all day and the steering wheel, the rubber gets into your fingernails and everything. It's, yeah, ugh. yeah, the steering wheel is pretty, uh, Pretty, not friendly, not friendly for taxi drivers a steering wheel because it's just rubber just gets into your fingernails and yeah, it's awful. Aglicense, 
Galloping Through the Battle Ruins. What an incredible album this is. I know they are controversial, Argelson, but holy shit, you can't deny how talented they are in terms of death metal. One of the best sounding death metal uh, bands I've heard, and I've become a real big fan of Argus and absolutely adore them. Songs like Defiled It Angelic, they got Fall of the Melanic Breeds, and they got Rape of the Slave. What an incredible song that is. The lyrics are, of course, a little bit edgy and extreme, you could say, but this is all about the 19th century, everything like that. But yeah, very awesome album by Argleson. Love the riffs. The riffs are so damn good. Imperium De um, Imperial Triumphant and the album Alphaville. Yeah, I got this. I actually got this and this is a solid album. This has grown on me so much. I didn't like it at first, but you know what? The band actually shared my review, my re-review of this album and yeah, just so many good songs on it. Yeah, so Road of Futures, Excelsior, City Swine, Atomic Age. Atomic Age is so damn hectic and chaotic. Sounds very good on CD as well. I've heard it. Metallica, Ride the Lightning. Finally got this. Oh, what an incredible album this is. This is a fantastic album. My favorite Metallica album. Fight Fire with Fire, Ride the Lightning, For Whom the Bell Tolls, of course. And you got uh, Fade to Black. Then you got The Call of Cthulhu. Just so many good songs on this. Catatonia, Dead End Kings, a pretty underrated album, to be honest. Just incredible songs as well. Absolutely adore it. You got The Parting, The One You Are Looking For Is Not Here, Buildings, Leech, and then you've finally got Dead Letters. Dead Letters is a pretty catchy song. I, I know Quest for Metal loves Dead Letters, and he loves this album as well, but this is a great album overall. Okay, another controversial band, we got Demons and Wizards 3. Yes, we all know about what happened to John Schaefer, uh, storming the Capitol and everything, but you can't deny what an incredible guitarist he is. And Handy Hirsch is also in this band. Just incredible, incredible album overall. Absolutely adore it. You got Cha, 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 Wolves of Winter, and you got Timeless Spirit, Universal Truth, Children of Cain. One of my favorite albums of the year, actually of last year. Love the presentation of presentation so damn good. Well Marduk is next and you know what? This band, this particular I bought three albums for three albums actually and they were just doing they were just in stores and JB Hi-Fi never has black metal in their stores. And Marduk was the only black metal band that was featured in JB Hi-Fi stores. So God damn it, I snagged Marduk Rom 12. What an incredible album this is. Absolutely adore it. Love this album. Love how different this album is by any Marduk albums. It's very doomy and gloomy, but also quite intense. Some, some incredible songs on it. Really do enjoy it. Hey, we got some more Marduk, and it's Wormwood. Yeah, this was my first Marduk album I heard, actually, a year and a half ago now. But yeah, still still a great album. Funeral Dawn, um, To Redirect Perdition. Just such an intense, intense album overall. Really do enjoy it. One album I haven't heard yet, but I am excited to check out. It's Plague Angel. So, I love the artwork. The artwork is so damn good. Oh. Yeah, but overall, I'm, check I'm looking forward to checking that out. But I had to get all the Marduk albums that were available in store. Aglacent, Incorrigal Bigotry. This is one of my favorite death metal albums of all time. Yes, yeah, spoiler alert. I'll be, uh, be releasing a death metal albums of all time list soon. And in Aglacent, Incorrigal, Incorrigal Bigotry is one of my favorite death metal albums. Love the riffs. This is Rift City, baby. Flogging the cargo in the purging fires of war. Then you got quelling the. Then you got, yeah, got quelling. I love that song. I can't pronounce it. Uh, yeah, quelling the simian surge. Just so many. That that chorus. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. Love it. I love it. I can't say it on camera, unfortunately. 
heirs to perdition, incurable bigotry. Yeah, and if you have a look here, check out this. Send hate mail. <laughs> Obviously, they are very controversial, but they are very shit people, but I love the band, actually. I love the music. Separate the art from the artist. Next up is Deep Purple Fireball. Yes, I had to get this album. A lot of people know if you're a fan of me for a while, you know I love Deep Purple and you know I was gonna get Fireball. Just incredible songs like Fireball, No No No, Demon's Eye, Anyone's Daughter, You Got No One Came. And it's also a special edition as well, so it's got a few more unreleased songs, but what an incredible album Fireball is. But it's not my favorite Deep Purple album, but I'm very glad that I got it. Next up is a CD booklet that I got, and it's Paradise Lost Draconian Times. Sexy fucking album this is. The presentation is so damn good. The booklet inside, it's a great read overall. Definitely check out the 25th anniversary of Draconian Times. Definitely buy this. Love it. It's got all the lyrics, it's got the history. Just incredible album overall. Love it. Enchantment. And then you got... And then you got Shadow Kings, Elusive Care, Yearn for Change. There's so many amazing songs on it. Very different sounding album by Paradise Lost, but yeah, love it. Love it. This is one of their strongest albums. Next up is Paradise Lost, Plague Within. This is such an incredible album. And this is a pretty underrated album, Paradise Lost. This has grown on me so much, it really has. I love songs, love the songs like No Hope Is Sight, Victim of the Past, then you got Return to the Sun. This is a very Death Doomy album. This is when Paradise Lost went to Death Doom, to be honest. Yeah, Paradise Lost completely changed the sound on this album. Next up is We Are The One X. It's Three Days Grace One X. What in, what? What can I say? This is nostalgia, baby. Nostalgia. Love One X. Love Three Days Grace. Get Out Alive. Over and Over. The Time of Dying. Gone Forever. One X. Just incredible. Well, incredible songs. Next up is Bell Haven Between You and Me. Um, you, Me and Everything Between. I've seen this band live a few times and I think they are solid. Gonna see them live next month as well in March. But yeah, in case you don't know, they are a sort of post-punk alternative metal band, you could say. Core Brain Metal Core as well. But just so many good songs by uh, this album's this album's fantastic. It really is. Je definitely check out Bay Hel Bell Hel Bell Haven. You, me, and every and you, me, and everything between. They are Australian as well. And yeah, they are a very good band. So, I'm not a big fan of Grindcore, but holy shit, I love Cattle Decapitation and their album Death Atlas. What an incredible album this is. Absolutely adore it. Your songs like Bring Back the Plague, Bring Back the Plague, and after that, the coronavirus knocked down our doorstep. Yeah, love this song Death Atlas, that 10 minute song. It's so damn intense, it's so damn heavy, but damn, what a good fucking album. And finally, we got Metallica, Death Magnetic. Another fantastic album by Metallica, absolutely love it. So many great songs like The End of the Line. And you got That Was Just Your Life. A Day That Never Comes, The Unforgiven Three. A lot of people don't like The Unforgiven Three. A lot of people don't like Suicide and Redemption as well. I don't understand why. I think that I think it's a solid album, a solid fucking album. But yeah, what a what a, that that's that's it for my CD pickup, guys. That's it for my CD collection. So let's go by order. Got Metallica, Death Magnetic. We got Cattle Decapitation, Death Atlas. We got Bell Haven, you mean everything between. We got We Are the One X, Paradise Lost Plague Within, Paradise Lost Draconian Times, Deep Purple Fireball, Arglicent Incorrigal Bigotry, Marduk 
Plague Angel. Cannot wait to check that out, actually. Marduk, Wormwood. Marduk, Rom 512. Demons and Wizards 3. Catatonia, Dead and King. Such a very underrated album by Catatonia. Metallica, Ride the Lightning. Imperial Triumphant, Alphaville. Arglicent, Battle, Galloping Through the Battle Ruins. Imperium Decadence, Meadows of Nostalgia. Midnight Spell, Sky Destroyer. Dream Theatre, Black Clouds and Silver Linings. Imperial, Imperium Decadence, When We Are Forgotten. Nile, the Vilolic Rites. Vile Nilotic Rites, sorry. Megadeth, so far. So good, so what? Megadeth, killing is my business and business is good. Love the artwork of this as well. And finally, we got Survival Instinct, I Am The Night. Wow, that's a... Yeah, so these are all the CD, these are the new CDs that I got. <laughs> Quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like um, and also comment below what CDs you picked up this week. Comment below what albums you have heard in this list. And yeah, next video will probably be a review. So keep it good, keep it snappy. And I will see you in the next one.